Hey folks, I'm Dieter Melhorn, and if you like shallow water fishing in the springtime for blue catfish, you're going to want to watch this video. It's early March, and I'm headed out to see if the shallow water bite has turned on for blue catfish. Alright folks, so here's the lay of the land. It's early March. Uh, it's not exactly springtime, but it's definitely not winter. Water temperatures started to warm up a little bit. We get some cold nights, we get some warm days. It's, we're kind of in that transition time right now. It's not full-fledged shallow water fishing, but some fish can be found shallow. And that's what I'm doing out here today, is I'm hole hopping, looking around, trying some different places to see if I can catch some fish in some shallow water. There he goes. Look at that. Look at that. Heading to deep water. Good fish blowing up on top of the water. Got deep water on one side, shallow water on the other. Put some rods out both directions. That's a good fish. This may be a netter. Just got set up. Was getting my stuff in order, stuff put away. I looked over and this rod's gone. Came out of about three feet of water. I think I can bogey grip him. He's wrapped. That's why he's feeling so heavy. Good fish. Good fish. What we got here. Get this thing back here. Let's make me some room here. It's a very fat fish. He's too big for a bugger. I'm going to have to net him. Ah, maybe not. Got him. He's slightly bigger than I thought he was. A monster. Great fish. Now some people ask me, what do you mean by shallow? Well, I'm talking two or three feet of water. That's right. Catching blue catfish, 20, 30, 40, 50 pounds in two or three feet of water. Why? They're there to feed on shad. That's why they're there. Why do you fish for them there? Well, obviously, we like to catch fish that big, but there is nothing better than catching a monster catfish in that shallow water because there's nowhere for them to go but left or right. When they know they're hooked, they take off like a freight train, come out of the water like a tarpon. It is the best fishing around. Same rod, same side of the boat. Boom, there he goes. Another big fish. He's moving the boat. Up on top, he's only in about three feet of water. <clears throat> I'm going to muscle him too much. Don't pull any hooks loose. Again, a Carolina rig, a big old piece of gizzard shad on the bottom. I fished yesterday, tried shallow, nothing came shallow. Every fish I caught came on the deep side came out of about 25 to 30 feet of water. It was on a steep ledge. Had baits up shallow, nothing. Today, as soon as I get set up, I hook into a fish, put this bait back out, was getting the gear straightened out, and I got another one, another nice fish. Not as big, but we'll take him. Got him. Big male. Big old mouth. Ready for the spawn. Nice big healthy male. So I know what you're thinking. Great, let's just go find some shallow stuff along the bank and park the boat and throw the bait out. Wrong. It doesn't work that way. Not all shallow water is created equal. You have to do some looking around. You have to do some checking. You have to do some hole hopping. I was out yesterday. I was fishing with Deep water on one side, shallow water on the other. Never caught a fish in shallow water. Today, the first two fish I catch are coming out of two or three feet of water. So, different location, different day, things change. You can't go with your regular old holes and expect to catch fish, catch fish every trip. 
There he goes. There he goes. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. There he goes, swimming at the boat, swimming at the boat. It's the thing about getting them shallow. They ain't got nowhere to go. They ain't got nowhere to go. That fish is in about three feet of water. He's off to the side. There we go. Stay buttoned. Stay buttoned. Fun fishing, folks. Fun fishing. This is why I like coming out here when these fish go shallow. He's right underneath the boat. If you ask why I'm stomping, when these fish go running right at the boat, if I do some stomping, a lot of times they'll cut left or right. Keeps them from going under the boat. Crazy, ain't it? Good fish. Just hooked up on another one. Same rod, Carolina rig on the bottom. Up there in about three feet of water. Seen the rod bounce around a little bit. Line went slack. I don't think he knew he was hooked. It's been a good bite today. It's been good fishing. Uh, some fish were up here shallow. Fog starting to burn off. Bites kind of started to wane. That's okay. It's been a great day. Put some good fish in the boat. If I was eating fish, that would be a good one at about the top end. Get him in the boat. Shallow water fishing at its best, right there. Nice eater size blue out of three feet of water. All right, folks, I just went live on YouTube for about an hour. Bite had kind of died, kind of got done with catching fish. Just said goodbye to everybody. I'm out of bait. I only got four rods left in the water. Was reeling stuff in, and this rod folds over. I think it's a decent fish. A very mad and upset blue. Another good one, bigger than that. What a day. Oh, another stud of a fish. This time I promise I'm gone. Please hit subscribe if you like the channel. And please hit that little bell symbol and you'll be notified when these videos come on. Especially the live feeds where I may actually catch a fish like this. Thanks for watching.